the Broken Blueprint Acknowledgements. In the preparation of this history of our educational work, the author is indebted to James M. Lee and his son David J. Lee, who, since the late 1960s, have conducted careful research into the educational crisis in our denomination, but primarily as it related to Loma Linda. James was the son of Howard M. Lee, one of our pioneer missionaries in Korea. James is quite elderly now, and David continues their efforts. Over the years, they collected bits and pieces of historical data, especially for the years 1895 to 1935, from libraries and archives primarily at Loma Linda and in Washington, D.C. The author is also indebted to the earlier writings and research work of Merlin L. Neff, Emmett K. Van de Veer, D. E. Robinson, Richard A. Schaefer, R. W. Squartz, E. M. Cadwallader, Raymond S. Moore, Ella M. Robinson, Percy T. Megan, John A. Burden, E. L. Cardi, Edward A. Sutherland, Emma E. Howell, A. W. Spaulding, M. Bessie de Graw, Ara Gish, Harry Christman, C. Mervyn Maxwell, Owen S. Parrott, S. Gerard Damskdeet, and the Madison College Alumni Association. Of prominent importance were the letters and books of Ellen G. White, Without such a great cloud of witnesses and earnest friends of our Blueprint educational work, this present volume could not have been prepared. Summary What was the original blueprint for our educational and medical training schools, as given in the spirit of prophecy? Is there any way we can find out exactly how it was done in our early schools? Why is that blueprint not being followed today? How did our schools veer off the path? This book provides you with that information. For the first time in a single book, the entire fascinating story is told. In this brief, large print book, you will discover exactly what happened. It is a fascinating narrative. For the first time, you will learn what made the blueprint so effective in accomplishing its purpose. You will also learn how certain changes in our educational work dramatically changed the entire fabric of our denomination. What was God's original plan for our schools? What were the forces at work which, although sometimes unwittingly, sought to destroy it? What caused our colleges and universities to be transformed into modern lookalikes to the schools of the world in curriculum, coursework, textbooks, entertainment, and teacher training? We will not be able to solve the problem until we learn what it is and what caused it.